Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs come into play with a magic number of two. With the potential to clinch the division today, the Cubs are playing in San Francisco here in an afternoon matinee at Wrigley Field. The Brewers will be at Cleveland in an evening game. A combination of a Cub win and Brewer loss would clinch the division for the Northsiders. For today's game against the Giants, the Cubs are sending lefty Brent Suter out to the mound. He is making start number 26 with an 8-4 record. He has a 361 ERA and a 109 whip. Cubs lineup will be Horner, Grisham, Correa, Rizzo, Posey, Harper, Bryant, Suter, and Malik Smith batting ninth. Andrew Triggs is making the start for the Giants. He is making start number 28. He has a record of two wins and 17 losses with a 578 ERA and a 169 whip. A rough year for Brent Andrew Triggs. The Giants lineup will be Debon, Slater, Joey Bart, Heliot Ramos, Wilmer Flores, Evan Longoria, Keon Wang, Kevin Pillar, and Triggs batting ninth. It is 69 degrees, wind blowing in from right off the lake at 11 mph. And it is time to get today's game underway. With Brent Suter on the mound, a capacity crowd here at Wrigley Field, and we are ready to get this game going. The Cubs are going to be watching the scoreboard tonight, regardless of the outcome of this game. They will be watching closely to see how the Brewers and Indians fare later this evening. Suter now with the pitch. There's a liner in the left. That is going to be a leadoff base hit for the Giants here in the top of the first inning. He's actually going to come into second with a double, an extra base hit to lead off the game. The Giants with the runner in scoring position and Slater the next batter. Top of the first inning. Suter working with a 1-1 count. There's a pop-up to center. Chasing is Trent Grisham. He has a line on it, and he makes the play in left center for out number one. Suter now pitching to Joey Bart. With one out and one man on, two strike count. Suter with the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the big curveball for the second out of the inning. And now he, Leon Ramos, the batter with two outs. And the runner's still on second. One strike is the count. Suter with the pitch. Popped up to right. Harper chasing. He makes a few steps to adjust and makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. So the Giants strand the leadoff double on, on base. we go to the bottom of the first of a 0-0 ball game. Horner leading off against Triggs here in the bottom of the first inning. Full count. Nico Horner standing in. And here comes the pitch. Horner grounds it over to first. Picked up and stepping on the base is the first baseman for out number one. Grisham now the batter. One out, nobody on. Two and one is the count. Here comes the pitch to Trent Grisham. And he grounds it toward first again. This time an even shorter, maybe a single step over to first to record the out. And that is number two in the inning. Carlos Correa now at bat with two outs and nobody on. Triggs pitching with a 2-2 count. Correa takes strike three, a letter high fastball, and the inning is over. So the Cubs do not score. We'll go to the top of the second of a 0-0 ball game. Wilmer Flores leading off against Brent Suter. Here comes the first pitch from Suter. And Flores lines it right at Anthony Rizzo. That'll be the first out of the inning. Rizzo, nice reactions there to pull that down. And now Longoria the batter, one out, nobody on. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch to Longoria. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the changeup way out in front of it for out number two. Suter now with two strikeouts in the day, and that'll bring up Keon Wong. Not sure if he's related to Colton Wong, but it would seem that if they are, their parents definitely had a naming convention in mind. Suter pitching to Wong with two outs and a one ball count. And there's a pop-up deep to right field. Chasing is Bryce Harper. He's at the wall, and it's going to be a home run. Keon Wong, a 1-0 lead for the Giants now. 385 feet out to right field. And that is a solo home run here in the top of the second inning. Wong with his first home run of the season. Pilar now the batter with two outs and nobody on. 3-1 and one is the count. 
and he grounds it towards short. Correa has it. He throws across the diamond, and that will end the inning. The Giants do grab the early lead with a 1-0 score in the top of the second inning. We're going now to the bottom of the second. Anthony Rizzo will lead off for the Cubs. Full count to Rizzo. Here's the pitch. Low for ball four. So Rizzo draws the walk. He's going to head down to first. Buster Posey now the batter. With a runner on first, nobody out. Triggs facing Posey with a one and two count. And he swings and misses for strike three. That is out number one. You'd think that Posey, having caught Triggs earlier in the year, might have known what pitch was coming there. However, Bryce Harper now the batter. With one out, the runner still on first. Triggs working with the first pitch, and that's grounded back toward the mound. The throw goes to second. The relay to first. That is a 1-6-3 double play, and the Giants are out of the inning. We go to the top of the third with the San Francisco Giants still up by one. Triggs, the pitcher, leading off against the pitcher, Suter, here in the top of the third inning. Full count, Suter delivers. Hopped up left field, Malik Smith chasing toward the warning track. He's going to make the catch. That is out number one. Dubon now the batter, one out, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count, Suter with the pitch. Strike three called a curveball right at the knees. That is out number two. Suter with a really good looking curveball today. Has three strikeouts now in the game. Slater, the next batter, with two outs and nobody on. One strike. And Suter delivers. Lined into left. Malik Smith chasing into the corner. He's going to make the play to end the inning. Malik Smith with a running catch. And the inning is over. We go to the bottom of the third with the Giants up by one. Chris Bryant leading off against Triggs in the bottom of the third inning. Cubs looking to get on the board here. Bryant lines it right up the middle for a base hit. That was a clean single over second base, and Bryant has a leadoff single here in the bottom of the third inning. That is the first base hit for the Cubs. Brent Suter now going to be asked to lay down the bunt. Here comes the delivery. The bunt it down the third baseline. Third baseman has it. The only play is at first, and Suter is retired. For out number one, the sacrifice is successful as Bryant advances to second. Malik Smith now the batter, one out, one man on. Triggs facing Smith with a one strike count. There's the pitch, grounded up the middle. Shortstop has it this time. The throw over to first, and that's out number two. Bryant advancing to third on that play, and now Nico Horner's the batter with the tying run 90 feet away. Two outs in the bottom of the third inning. Horner facing Triggs, two and one is the count. Grounder towards second. Throw over to first, and the inning is over. So the Cubs do not score despite getting a runner to third. We're going to the top of the fourth of a 1 0 ball game. Joey Bart leading off against Brent Suter in the top of the fourth inning. One and two is the count. Suter with the delivery. And Bart swings and misses for strike three. That was a slider down and in. And another devastating breaking ball from Brent Suter. Four strikeouts down the game. Ramos, the next batter. One out, nobody on. 2-2 count, Suter with the pitch. Popped up to center, coming in fast as Grisham, and he makes the running catch for out number two. Flores, the next batter, with two outs and nobody on. Suter working with a one and two count. Here's the delivery, line past the second baseman into right field. That is gonna be a two out single for the Giants in the top of the fourth inning. Longoria now the batter with two outs and the runner on first. Suter facing Longoria with a one one count, and a balk is called. Suter can't believe it. That is going to put the runner on second. And now with two outs, the runner is in scoring position. Longoria facing Suter in the top of the fourth inning. One and two count. Check swing for strike three. Suter gets the punch out to end the inning. So the Giants get a base runner. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the fourth of a one nothing San Francisco lead. Grisham facing Triggs, bottom of the fourth inning. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch to Trent Grisham. He lines it past the third baseman in the left field. That's going to be a leadoff single. Trent Grisham. Oh, he's hit gunning for two. He gets into second with a stand-up double. A nice hustling play by Trent Grisham to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning. And now Carlos Correa is the batter. With a runner on second, nobody out. Triggs facing Correa with a full count. Line down the right field line. That's going to drive in the tying run. Grisham will round third and score easily. Correa cruises into second. He's going to have an RBI double, and now the Cubs and Giants are tied at one in the bottom of the fourth inning. Back-to-back -back doubles ties up the ball game. 
Correa now with 88 RBIs on the season. And Anthony Rizzo coming up to the plate. Runner on second. Nobody out. Triggs facing Rizzo. First pitch. Rizzo drives it high in the air to right field into the wind, but it's going to carry at the wall. That's a home run. Anthony Rizzo solidifying his team lead with RBIs. It's a 367-foot home run down the right field line. That's number 20 on the season for him. And the Cubs now have a 3-0 lead in the bottom of the fourth inning. So the second time through the order is going much better for the Cubs. Here in the bottom of the fourth, the Cubs have already scored three times. There is nobody out. Rizzo now with 93 RBIs on the season. Posey the next batter. Triggs working with a one ball count. Here's the pitch to Buster Posey. And he lines it into center field. That's hard hit, but going back, the center fielder will have it. That is out number one. Bryce Harper the batter, one out, nobody on. Triggs facing Harper with a one and two count. And Harper grounds it back toward the mound. Pitcher has it, the throw to first, and that is out number two. Bryant the batter now, one, two outs and nobody on. Bryant one for one today. Here's the full count delivery. And Bryant swings and misses at ball four. That was a pitch down and in. Bryant chased it, and that is the third out of the inning. But the Cubs score three times, taking a three to one lead into the top of the fifth inning. Suter on the mound facing Wong here in the top of the fifth. He is going to have to take a little different approach as Wong hit his first home run up the, first, the last time up in the second inning. Suter facing Wong with a two ball count. Here's the delivery. Grounded toward first. Rizzo has it. He steps on the base for out number one. Pilar now the batter. One out, nobody on. Two ball count. Suter with the delivery. There's a grounder toward short. Correa has that one. He throws over to first. That's out number two. Brandon Belt now the batter. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher spot in the top of the fifth inning. So the Giants go into the bullpen in the bottom of the fifth. Brandon Belt coming up to the plate with eight home runs and 198 at bats and a 197 average on the season. Belt facing Suter with two outs, nobody on. Two ball count. Here's the pitch. Popped up left center field. Malik Smith on the run. He does run fast. He gets there and he makes the catch and the inning is over. So the Giants do not score. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a three to one Cub lead. And now Trevor Oaks comes out of the Giant bullpen. He is 0-3 on the season. 46 and two thirds innings thrown. 12 walks, 21 strikeouts, and a 3.66 ERA. Oaks facing Suter in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Cubs up by two, looking to expand the lead. Here's a two strike count. And the pitch to Suter is on the way. Oaks looking for the sign. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss, first strike three. That was a slider down and away, and Suter chased it for the first out of the inning. Malik Smith now the batter, one out, nobody on. Three and one is the count. Malik Smith takes low and away for a ball four, so that's gonna put a runner on first with one out, and now Malik Smith is gonna have the green light over at first base. He'll be running on the first pitch. Let's see what the pitch is to corner. Here it comes. That's a fastball and Malik Smith hesitates and heads back to first base. So one strike is the count. Corner swinging away now. The throw goes over to first. Smith dives back easily. Swinging away, another throw over to first. Oaks, now he's paying attention. Malik Smith has got his attention over at first. One strike count, another throw over to first. Smith got in just under the tag, wow. So here comes the next pitch. A pitch out. And that is not going to work. The, now, now we are going to steal second. So here comes the pitch. The throw goes down to second, and Malik Smith slides in easily. 25 stolen bases on the season for him. He's now on second base. One and two is the count to Horner. One out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here comes the next pitch. Horner lines it up the middle. Shortstop has it. The throw over to first on one hop. That's going to be the second out of the inning. Malik Smith taking third on that play. And now Trent Grisham's the batter. Two outs, runner 90 feet away. Grisham facing Oaks with a three and one count. And there's a pop-up deep to center field going back toward the warning track. Just enough room, the center fielder makes the catch in front of the wall and the inning is over. So the Cubs strand a runner on third. We're going to the top of the sixth of a three to one ball game. So Suter now facing Dubon here in the top of the sixth inning. Two and one is the count. Here comes the pitch. 
Driven in the gap in left center field. That's going to be extra bases. It goes one hop to the wall. Grisham chases it down. The throw goes into the second base. It'll be a leadoff double for the Giants here in the top of the sixth inning. Next up is Slater. Runner on second, nobody out. Suter working with a two ball count. Here's the pitch. Lined up the middle for another base hit. So that is going to be a base hit to center. The throw comes home. The run is going to score. This is now a three to two ball game in the top of the sixth inning. And that is going to prompt activity in the cup bullpen as we are going to see, oh, look at that. Everybody's rested. So in this half inning, we're going to warm up Liam Hendricks. We're going to visit the mound. Suter says, I feel as good as ever. He's only thrown 73 pitches. Joey Bart, the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Suter working to Bart. Here comes the first pitch. It's a grounder towards short. The throw goes to second. The relay to first. That is a 6-4-3 double play. Nice work there by the Cub infield defense. Turning two and erasing the base runner. So now with two outs and nobody on, Heliot Ramos is the next batter for San Francisco. Top of the sixth inning. He comes up by one. Suter working with a one and two count. And a swing and a miss in the inning is over. So the Giants score. They make this a 3-2 ball game going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Carlos Correa now the batter, facing Oaks in the bottom of the sixth. Correa working with a one ball count. Here comes the pitch to Oaks. And there's a grounder past the first baseman down the right field line. Carlos Correa is going to have extra bases. The ball rattles around the corner. He heads into second, sliding in with a leadoff double here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So the Cubs threatening with the leadoff runner in scoring position. Anthony Rizzo now the batter. Runner on second, nobody out. Oaks facing Rizzo with a one strike count. Here's the pitch. Driven in the air in center field, going back. The center fielder has it. He makes the catch from number one. Buster Posey now the batter. He is 0 for 2 today. Facing Oaks with one out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Runner on second. Oaks working with a 2-2 count. Here's the pitch. Posey loops it over the third baseman's head and it lands. Is that a foul ball or a fair ball? That's a fair ball, they're saying. The runner's going to stop at third. Everybody hesitated as the umpire didn't even make the call right away. So Buster Posey with a single. And now the Cubs have runners in the corners with one out. Bryce Harper, the next batter. Bottom of the sixth inning. Oaks facing Harper. Here's the three ball count. Low and away for ball four. The bases are loaded. And now... As Bryce Harper heads down to first, Chris Bryant steps up to the plate. He is one for two today. Facing Oaks in the bottom of the sixth inning. Comes up by one, looking for some insurance runs. Oaks facing Bryant with a one ball count. And Bryant lines into the gap in left center field. That's going to drive in some runs. Extra bases for Chris Bryant. The runners rounding second, heading for third. Run other runners rounding third, heading home. That is a basic bases clearing double for Chris Bryant. The Cubs now have a 6-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. Chris Bryant coming through in a big way for Chicago with the RBI double, and the Cubs now have a four-run lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. And now the pitcher Suter comes up in the bottom of the sixth with one out and the runner on second. Suter facing Oaks, and he is going to be asked to lay down another bunt. So Suter trying to lay down the bunt. It's down the first baseline. Bryant's going to advance to third. Suter thrown out at first, and that will be two outs in the inning. Malik Smith now the batter with two outs and the runner on third. Taylor facing Smith. Curtis Taylor coming into the game throwing 60 in the third innings, walking 31, striking out 61 with a 4.48 ERA. Taylor faces Malik Smith, who is 0 for 1 today and has drawn a walk. 3 and 1 is the count. Malik Smith standing in the box from the left side. Here's the pitch. High for ball four. Malik Smith taking first on the base on balls, and it brings up Nico Horner. And now we're going to see if we can steal second here. Horner facing Taylor. First pitch. That is strike one, a letter high changeup. Corner now facing Taylor. One strike count. That is high and away. Ball one. Now we're going to steal second. Let's see. Oh, there's the pickoff throw. Smith gets back easily. 
Stealing second. Oh, no. Drawing another throne. All right. I think they might be on to us. Let's swing away, see what happens. That is a pitch high with a changeup. Two and one is the count. Now we are going to steal. Let's see here. That's, uh, ooh, it was not low. It was a knee-high strike. Lots of change-ups here from Curtis Taylor. Two and two is the count. Runners on the corners. Swinging away, Horner grounds it over to first. The pitcher is covering. The throw goes to the, to the pitcher, and the inning is over. So the Cubs strand two. They score three times. We're going to the top of the seventh of a 6-2 ball game. Brent Suter facing Wilmer Flores here in the top of the seventh inning. Suter working first pitch. Here it comes. Grounded towards second base. Warner has it. He throws to first for out number one. Longoria now the batter. One out, nobody on. Suter facing Longoria with a 2-2 down. Here comes the pitch. Driven in the air deep to left. That one's got some distance. It goes back and it is out of here. A solo home run. And the Giants have made this a 6-3 ball game in the top of the seventh inning. 421 feet out onto the street behind left field. And the Giants have cut the Cubs' lead down to three. So now Wong is the batter with one out and nobody on. Suter facing Wong. One strike count. Here comes the pitch. Grounded past the second baseman into right field. There's a single. So a one-out base hit for the Giants in the top of the seventh inning. That brings up Kevin Pillar. And we are going to go ahead and warm up. I'm going to warm Liam Hendricks back up. Visiting the mound, he says, I'm good. He's at 86 pitches. One out, one man on. Suter needs a double play to get out of the inning. Here comes the first pitch. Line past the second baseman in the right field. There's no base hit. So the throw going to third, but the runner is going to slide in safely, and the Giants have runners on the corners with one out in the top of the seventh inning. So now, Suter facing the pinch hitter, Tyrone Taylor, in the top of the seventh inning. Runners on the corners, one out. Suter facing Taylor. And we have a... We have a kind of critical situation here in the top of the seventh inning. So Taylor, off the bench, has six home runs, a 319 batting average, and 19 RBIs in 160 at-bats. Suter facing Taylor. We're going to throw over to first. And he dies back safely. Hendricks is still one. Go over to first again. Pilar dives back safely. Now Liam Hendricks is ready. All right. Liam Hendricks is coming into this ball game. He is going to come in as the new pitcher with one out. Runners on the corners in the top of the seventh inning. Liam Hendricks entering the game in the number eight spot in the lineup. He has thrown six to seven innings. Walked 12, struck out 86 with a 2.42 ERA. Hendricks will face Taylor. Top of the seventh. One and two is the count. Strike three call on the outside corner. That is the second out of the inning. A slider that catches the corner for out number two. Hendricks now will face... A pinch hitter, the lefty Justin Williams. Williams stepping up to the plate with six home runs and a 244 batting average on the season. He is facing Hendricks with two outs, runners on the corners, top of the seventh inning. Full count. Hendricks looking for the sign, and he delivers, and it's driven in the gap and or down the line in the right field. That's gonna drive in some runs. Harper chases it down, he throws into the cutoff, man. That's an RBI double. And the Giants have just scored to make this a, I believe, a six to five ball game in the top of the seventh inning. That's three runs in the inning. Slater now the batter with two outs and the runner on second. Hendricks facing Slater in the top of the seventh inning. One and two is the count. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the middle. Second baseman has it. The throw over to first and the inning is over. So the Giants score three times making this a one-run ball game going into the bottom of the seventh inning. And for today's seventh inning stretch, we have California Governor Gavin Newsom here to lead the singing of the seventh inning stretch. Trent Grisham, the batter, facing a new giant reliever, Sam Selman. Selman has thrown 51 and two-third innings, walked 40, struck out 66 with a 470 ERA. Grisham coming up to the plate. He's one for three today. 
full count. Here comes the pitch to Trent Grisham. Looking for the sign. Here's the payoff pitch. Driven in the air to center. Grisham's counterpart coming in. He looks up and makes the catch, and that is out for number one. Next up, Carlos Correa. He's two for three with an RBI. Facing Selman here in the bottom of the seventh. One out, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count. Here's the pitch. Driven in the air to right center this time. The center fielder again chasing. He gets there to make the play, and that is out number two. So in the top of the eighth inning, we are actually going to warm up Ryan Presley? No. Junior Fernandez? Yeah. Junior Fernandez needs to pitch in the top of the, top of the eighth inning. Fernandez is going to face the middle of the giant lineup in the top of the eighth inning. Selman facing Rizzo with two outs and nobody on. 2-2 two, two is the count. Here's the delivery. Rizzo swings and misses, and the inning is over. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the eighth of a 6-5 ball game. And Junior Fernandez is going to be brought in to face Joey Bart here in the top of the eighth. Fernandez coming in with 63 and two-thirds innings thrown. He walked 25, struck out 83 with a 297 ERA. Fernandez facing Bart Ramos and Flores in the top of the eighth inning. Three and one is the count. Fernandez looking for the sign. And here comes the pitch. Low for ball four. So the walk is issued. The Giants have the tying run on base. And that means the one and only Edwin Diaz will be warmed up. Fernandez facing Ramos now with a runner on first. Nobody out. We're going to visit the mound. He says, I'm feeling good. Let's throw over to first. See if we can catch Joey Bart sleeping. Now Bart makes it back. He's not going anywhere. One and two count. Here comes the pitch. Checked his swing for a strike three. So that is out number one. A strikeout for Junior Fernandez. And now Flores the bat. One out, one man on. Fernandez working with a one ball count. Here comes the delivery. Grounded toward first. The throw goes to second. The relay back to first. And they, oh, just a half a step short. Maybe the tie went to the runner. I'm not sure. The Cubs, however, get the fielder's choice to retire the lead runner. There's now two outs and a runner on first in the top of the eighth inning, and Longoria, the batter, facing Fernandez. Longoria coming up to the plate. He is one for three with a home run today. Fernandez pitching with a two-ball count. Here comes the delivery. Lined into center field, that's a base hit. So Longoria gets the hit. The runner stops at second. The Giants now have two outs and two men on in the top of the eighth inning. And now, Keon Wong comes up to the plate. He has, he is two for three with a home run today. Edwin Diaz is ready to come into the game. Diaz, so Fernandez has thrown 15 pitches. He's allowed a walk and a hit. There's two men on base. The tying run is on second. Wong facing Fernandez. And this is where Edwin Diaz is going to come into the game. So Edwin Diaz, who we brought in as the relief pitcher in the top of the eighth inning. With two outs and two men on, Diaz has thrown 58 innings, walked 19, struck out 103 batters with a 186 ERA. He needs a strikeout to get out of this inning. Diaz facing Wong. One and two is the count. He's looking for the sign. And here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three, and the inning is over. So Diaz gets the punch out on a fastball at 100 miles an hour. We're going to the bottom of the eighth with the Cubs up by one. Buster Posey leading off against Sam Selman here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Selman with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch to Posey, and he lines it past the shortstop into left field. That'll be a base hit. So Buster Posey on first with a single. And that means we're going to have a pinch runner. Thyra Estrada is going to come off the bench and pinch run for Buster Posey. Bryce Harper is the next batter for the Cubs. Harper, the lefty, facing Selman, the lefty, with a runner on first and nobody out. Estrada on first has six stolen bases on the season. 
Harper facing Selman. Swinging away at the first pitch. Let's see what Selman has to offer. Here it comes. That is a fastball low for ball one. Second pitch, we're gonna try to steal second. Here comes the delivery. There's another fastball. Estrada stops and heads back. So that is a one and one count now for Harper. Here comes the next pitch. There's another fastball. A belt high fastball for strike two. So Harper down in a hole now. With a one and two count, runner still on first. Selman facing Harper. I'm gonna try to steal second again. Here comes the pitch. That's strike three called. Harper strikes out swinging. Estrada stops, he doesn't steal the base. That was a curveball for out number one. So Chris Bryant now the batter. He's two for three with three RBIs today. Selman facing Bryant, we're gonna steal on the first pitch here. Here comes the delivery, outside. And Estrada apparently will not try. He, he won't steal second, I don't know why. I've given him the steal sign three times and he's turned back every time. So, Bryant facing Selman with one out, one man on. We are going to warm up Ryan Presley because we're probably gonna be pinch hitting for Edwin Diaz here in a moment. Bryant facing Selman with a one ball count. Trying to steal second again. Here's the pitch. The runner actually goes to second this time. He slides in safely. So that is a stolen base. There's now a runner on second with one out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Bryant now facing Selman with a one and one count. And he pops it up, short left field. Going out is the shortstop. The play is made, then is out number two. So now Edwin Diaz comes up to the plate with a runner on second and two outs at the bottom of the eighth inning. And the pinch hitter, because they still have the lefty Selman out there, which means that we are going to send up the righty Jorge Soler. Soler comes up to the plate with two outs and the runner on second. Cubs looking for an insurance run here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Soler with 28 home runs and a 253 batting average on the season. He's facing Selman with a 1-1 count and that ball gets away. Estrada's gonna head down to third. So now, Soler batting with a runner 90 feet away. Two and one is the count. Selman delivers the next pitch. And Soler swings and misses, and the inning is over. So the Cubs strand the runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the ninth of a 6-5 ball game. And Ryan Presley, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be brought into this game. So... Let's see here. Miguel Amaya is going to be brought in to catch. And he is going to remain in the number five spot. Presley comes in to pitch. And he's going to be in the number eight spot. So Presley comes into the game. He is facing the eight, nine, and one batters in the Giants lineup in the top of the ninth inning. Presley has a six and seven record, 52 in the third innings thrown, 20 walks, 67 strikeouts, and a 344 ERA. Presley faces Pilar in the top of the ninth inning. One and two is the count. Presley looking for the sign. And he delivers the pitch. Grounded toward short, Correa has it. He throws over to first, out number one. Crawford now the batter, one out, nobody on. Presley working with a full count. Here comes the pitch to Crawford. And it's a swing and a miss for strike three. He chased the chains up outside the zone, and that is out number two. So now the Giants down to their final out, and Wilson Ramos, the batter, he is pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot with eight home runs and a 253 batting average on the season. He's facing Ryan Presley here in the top of the ninth. Two outs, nobody on. Cubs. Trying to nail down the victory. One and two is the count. Presley with the pitch. And a swing and a miss and the game is over. The Cubs magic number is down to one. The Cubs victorious in a 6-5 decision getting six runs on eight hits with no errors. The Giants five runs on 10 hits with no errors. So for the Cubs, Brent Suter gets the win. He went six and a third innings of eight hit five run baseball with two walks, excuse me, no walks, six strikeouts, and two home runs allowed. 
Hendricks, Fernandez, and Diaz each get a hold, and Ryan Presley gets his second save as a Cub, working a perfect ninth inning. Trigg suffers the loss. He goes to 2-18. and 18. I wonder if he's going to end up with 20 losses on the season. He worked four innings of four-hit, three-run baseball with one walk and three strikeouts. The Cubs, Anthony Rizzo, is the player of the game. He had a home run his 20th of the season. And also, the Cubs' Chris Bryant went two for four with three RBIs in the game as well. So the Cubs improved 89 and 54 as the Giants dropped to 45 and 96. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.